Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Diana Storm Rider. This is the black version. This is a PCP, pre-charged pneumatic air rifle. This is chambered in 177. It is a bolt action. Here's a little bit of information. Adjustable trigger, bolt action, 11mm dovetail rail, and rear adjustable sights. But enough talk, let's take a look at the gun. Alright, so right out of the box, this is what you'll be getting. Uh, other than the scope. I put the scope on it, it was off my brake barrel I have. And I was like, you know what, I need to put something on this. Uh, I do like iron sights, but I'm much more of a fan of scopes. So slap that on there. Nothing special, just 3 by 9 by 40 So anyways... When I first pulled this gun out of the box, I was very, very impressed by how it felt. Uh, I was expecting it to feel pretty cheesy. I mean, $210 gun. Uh, I was expecting it to feel, you know, like a brake barrel. Pretty, you know, cheap. You know, hollow. But this one, very uh, durable feeling. Uh, doesn't feel like a toy. It actually feels like a good PCP. The suppressor on this gun... It is plastic, but the inside of it is metal. As you can see, it's got a little bit of shiny metal. It looks like stainless steel. Uh, the bolt, very smooth. Uh, it came with a lot of oil on it, so you know it's not going to bind up or scratch. or you know It's going to bolt pretty smooth. The gun comes with a fill probe, as you can see here. comes with a 9-round magazine. That's the rear sight. I took that off because, you know, I like my scopes. And it also comes with a single shot tray. Now, I don't know why anybody would want to use the single shot tray. Uh, if you're going to use a single shot tray, you might as well buy a PCP that is strictly a single shot to begin with. But I don't know. I like to use the magazines. That's like the whole point of getting a PCP, other than the accuracy. But this gun, right out of the box, very impressive, very lightweight. I'm pretty sure it weighs just over four pounds. Very nice gun. Just let you guys take a look at that. Now, I watched some reviews of this gun before I got it, but the reviews were all in the 22 caliber. I cannot find any reviews of the 177, and people are having problems with accuracy uh, i believe anything past like 30 or 50 yards the the pals would just go all wobbly and just go all over the place they were not grouping good uh i decided i was going to go with the 177 just because of all those reviews and this is the second gen this is not the first gen so maybe they fixed that i'm not sure uh, usually if your FPS is very high, the pellets tend to kind of just go wherever they want after, you know, 25 yards. But this is shooting around 1050 right out of the box. At least that's what they say. Um, with the pellets I'm using, uh, well, I got these Premier uh, Dome pellets, 10.5 grain, very heavy. Uh, they so far from what I've seen shoot very good. Now, the other pellets I've been using are these Premier Destroyer pellets, 7.4 grain. Those, when you shoot them, it actually cracks the sound barrier. Uh, these heavier pellets, they like to stay probably around 1,000 feet per second. So, they're actually pretty quiet, but those Premier Destroyer pellets, they like to go faster than the speed of sound. So, when you shoot, you'll hear them downrange echo back, and it sounds like a 22 going off. Very nice gun. Very happy with it so far. Uh, I'm sure you guys are here to see how it shoots, so let's get out and do that. Alright, so there's my target. It's about 25 yards away. We're just going to rest here and uh, see how it groups. Shooting one-handed, so bear with me. Free hand, too. First shot. Second shot. Probably just do a five shot group, just because I am pretty shaky. So if the group's not good, it's me, not the gun. And we'll do one more. 
These are the Crossman Dome pellets. All right, let's go down and uh, take a look. All right, well, for being how shaky I was, I was right just going right side to side. I was trying to get the best, so like when I'd shake, when the crosshairs got over this, I was trying to pull the trigger uh, to the best of timing that I could. But I mean, overall, not a bad group. I mean, definitely resting. She's gonna hit probably right in the same hole over and over again. Uh, I will be doing another shooting video of this gun uh, when there's not snow on the ground, or at least when I have a spot to shoot so I can rest. But there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching this video. I will be reviewing other guns on this channel, and I will be doing some hunting videos, so stay tuned. Uh, have a great day. All right, so I know I just ended the video, but I did just shoot another group off camera, uh, resting with two hands. I figured I'd uh, show you guys this. So, about 25 yards. That was my first group you guys saw. Right there is my second group. As you can see, there's uh, <laughs> quite a bit of difference between, you know, shaking and wobbling all, all over the place versus, you know, resting pretty good. I mean, that's that's pretty good group. So, just figured I'd show you guys that.